same concept to say, when I asked, is Jesus all powerful? He said, yes, he's the concept of all power. Actually, according to the Bible, Bible never introduced Jesus to be all powerful. In fact, it was the opposite of that. Bible introduced Jesus to be someone who is weak, someone who literally submissive, someone who go and to be literally killed in the most horrific way for the salvation of, you know, all these criminals, Sinners. I would say. Yeah, including Al Capone, including Hitler, including all of these ones, yeah? So he came, he was, he did this for that. So the point is, you see here, so Jesus was never proposed in the Bible to be all powerful. Jesus as well is not all knowing. Correct? Do you, do you, do you believe, believe that? You do believe that? Okay. When people came and asked Jesus a simple straightforward question, because at the time when the, the debate, if this guy is God, he has to know everything, correct? Yeah. And there, are, there, there is something that only God knows. One thing, only God knows. No one has the ability to know this thing, which is the hour. When is the hour? Okay. So they came and they proposed him this question. They said, when is the hour? A direct and straightforward question to Jesus in order for him, if he answered that question, it will, you know, it will tick the box that he's got. What did, what did Jesus answer? Did you read the Bible? No one knows the hour but the Father. Neither? Neither the Son. No? The angels. Then emphasize, the only one knows about the hour is the Father. The Father. Yeah. So, this verse, no one knows about the hour except the Father, neither the Son, nor the angel. The only one knows about the hour is the Father. So, it's two statements confirming the only one knows about the hour is the Father. Confirming the Son doesn't know about the hour, not in his divine shape, not in his you know, human shape at all, that he is, he doesn't know about the hour. He didn't say, because some people, they say, in his, in his human form, he doesn't know about the hour, but in his divine form, he will know about the hour. Actually, no, because he said the sun in all forms doesn't know about the hour. So now asking this question, if Jesus is God, he has to be all knowing according to the concept that we have agreed in the beginning, correct? Yeah. Now, is Jesus according to this? Is he all knowing? Yeah, well, that, that is where I, I believe that that is just talking about his humanity. In no, his no, humanity. that means he lied. No, I, I believe that when he says that uh, the Father only there, he's talking about the fact that as a man, he doesn't understand. But he didn't say that. Yeah. He, he, said, did. he said, no one, do you know what, you know, I know, you yeah, know, I know English you is not my first language, no. but I understand English. English is your first language. When you say no one, you know, according to this, it means it's a, it's a conditional statement indicating that zero percent for any person to know about the hour except the Father, correct? So there is no any single probability that there will be someone with the Father knows about the hour, correct? So it's zero percent. It's not literally, it could be. He said no one, that's how they day, knows about the hour but the Father. Then. So indicating about himself, neither the son, because people say, what about you as a son? You're the son of God, whatever, yeah? Neither the son, the son doesn't know about the hour, yeah? He didn't say, as you mentioned, in his human form and his divine form, the son in all forms doesn't know about the hour. And if there is a probability that the son might know about the hour, that means he lied. When he said, in the beginning of his statement, no one knows about the hour but the Father. Yeah. And he confirmed neither the Son nor, nor the angels. Then as well, another conditional statement after that followed this full, con full, full statement saying, the only one knows about the hour is God. So he said in the beginning, no one knows about the hour but the Father, neither the Son nor the angels. The only one knows about the hour is the Father. Confirmed, that's confirmed. This is negating in the beginning, we call negate negating statement. Yeah, and, and if, you, if, you use the, if you want to use the structure of the statement, negating the statement, negating no one knows, literally no one, there is zero person for anyone to know about the world, but the Father, negating about himself, another statement, neither the Son nor the angels, no one, and then affirming statement following that, the only one knows about the world is the Father. So between negating and affirming, there is literally like a hundred percent statement confirming the only one has the knowledge of the hour is the Father. No one else. If there is someone who will have the knowledge of the hour, that means Jesus lied, according well, to the statement. I know what you're saying, yeah. Well, I, I think what it is, if, I, if that was the only verse in the Bible, 
then you might well think that way. But I think in certain contexts, what the Lord, I call him the Lord, what the Lord was doing there was, was saying that, um, because the question was being asked of him, when, when, when are you coming back? And he wanted the disciples to know that as a man, he didn't have that knowledge. So he worded it that way and said, only the Father knows. In the same way, like he said, uh, if a man doesn't hate his mother or father, uh, if a man hates, um, doesn't love his father or mother and doesn't hate his father or mother, um, then he's not worthy of me. All right. So in, the, in that verse, it seems like he's saying, you, to be a good Christian, you've got to hate your mother and father. But then in another place, he says, honor your mother and father. So I think what he's doing there in, in that verse is he's emphasizing the fact that as a man, he doesn't know. And in that context of that verse, he's answering that way the father only knows the hour to let the disciples know that as a man he doesn't know okay. that's what I, that's the way i would i would deal with that okay because there's other verses that teach that he is god for instance thomas said my lord and my god and he didn't rebuke thomas yeah, do you know what means a, a god as well because they said what he said to the what he said to the to the rabbis of, of the israelites what he said to them you are gods correct right yeah so, so the word God, apparently in the Bible, not necessarily indicating about a divine, yeah? Right. Could mean a teacher, could mean things like this, yeah? yeah? So, so that's why when someone said to you, my Lord and my God, not necessarily means that he's God. It, means it could mean something else. Yeah. Could be. Let's say if I wanted to affirm that this Bible, what you have, is the original text which was what Jesus stated. If I want to agree with this, if you don't disagree with this, and now we'll, dis we'll have this discussion about it in a minute, but my point is that if I want to, let's say, if I will accept the Bible as the text, for example, as a hypothesis to accept that, that for argument's sake, if you wanted to say this Bible, this text, suppose that it came from Jesus and Jesus stated all of these statements, yeah? So as well, Jesus indicated about people who are literally, they are not even holy, they were sinners, whatever, and he said to them, you are gods. Yeah. So he mentioned to them that they are gods. So that's why the statement God not necessarily means divine. Right. So. So, that's, so that, but, that's one point. What I would say is... And Lord does all the same thing. Yeah. Lord could be, even we still we use here yeah. in England, but you know, got, land Lord doesn't mean God of the house. Right. It could, it, it could uh, when he says my Lord and my God, it, you could use that in that way. But there's other verses that teach it, like uh, Hebrews, where it says that, um, let all of heaven's angels worship him, you know, referring to the sun. So even though Thomas says, my Lord, my God there, and you can use that to teach that he's talking about human leaders, uh, when you put it all together, the, the tenor of the scripture all together uh, is teaching that Jesus is God. <laughs> Revelation 4, they all worship the lamb around the throne. Every, all the angels are worshiping the lamb, and the lamb is Jesus Christ. Do you know, do you know again, you know, you, it seems that you read the Bible. You know the term worship, it doesn't indicate meaning the act of worship of God. You know that? Right. You know, know that? I know people argue that way. No, no, no. Even in the Bible, according to the... To the I'm talking about as a Bible scripture. Because right. a term worship, it could mean respect. Could mean... It has, it, has different, it has different variations. Even in English, it used to be saying the word worship not necessarily, not necessarily means you know, to worship a divine. It could mean showing respect, showing honor, etc., praying for all of these things, yeah? So the point is, again, this, it doesn't indicate about Jesus that he is God. The angel worshiping Jesus, not necessarily means they are dealing with him as God. Not necessarily this, it could be different meaning. It could be interpreted in different ways. So what happens, many of the Christian fellows, like, uh, like many of the Christian, like yourself and others, they will use these terms, these ambiguous terms, and then they will try to impose their own doctrine to these things, to use them to say, yeah, he is God. Yeah. And I will say to you, like a joke, you know, uh, uh, that we have in, in the Middle East, we have this joke. It, this indicates that you cannot convince someone about something if he's not convinced. So there, is two men, there, is, there are two men walking in a desert. So someone, some, one of them, he said he saw, he saw something, like a creature, something from distance. One of them, he said, it's a goat. The other guy, he said, no, I don't think it's a goat. And then he said, let's walk further. So they started walking further. So the guy, he said to him, actually, this is not a goat. Look at it. Look at it. It has wings. You know, it has wings. This, 
And he said, no, he, then he, the other guy, he said, even some goats has wings as well. So they walked further, he said, listen, you man, look at it. Even it has feathers, it has feathers. It doesn't have even, it has, doesn't even have goat hair. He said, no, no, even some goats has feathers. And then when they walked more, and then that bird started flying. Yeah, it's a bird, so it started flying. He said, look at it, it's flying, look at it, you can't see it. He said to him, even some goats can fly. So my point is about this joke. <laughs> and by the way, for, for the Arab speakers, when they hear this, they know what I'm talking about. The, the point is of this joke, to, to tell you, you cannot, some, they want to believe, because they want to believe in something, they don't care, whatever it is, they don't care, whatever, all indications go, goes against them, they will say, oh, still, I will believe it, it doesn't matter, I will just deal with it. And Allah has mentioned in the Quran uh, that, about the disbeliever, about the time of the Prophet at his time, they will say, you know, that when all of these, you know, evidences, affirming there is only one true God and affirming all these paganism and all of these idols which they used to worship themselves and their forefathers, all of them are false God. What they said, they start saying to each other, be patient with your goats, you just be patient. Sometimes these things happen, just be patient. Meaning, bear all of this and walk away. Mean, don't listen to these things, nonsense. Walk away from this nonsense because we, we still believe in whatever it is. And here, I'm saying to you, a clear statement, according to your Bible, not me, according to your Bible, a clear statement was mentioned or, at, or was attributed to Jesus that he said to the people, no one knows about the hour but the Father. Neither the Son, yeah, neither the Son, yeah, nor the angels, the only one knows about the hour, yeah, the only one knows about the hour is the, is the Father, is the Father. So, so here, According, if you study some, even some philosophy, even though I'm not in, in favor, right? but in philosophy, they, they, used to, they used to say, these are, if there is a statement comes between negating and affirming, if you negate something and you affirm something that indicate this thing, you are talking about something unique. There is nothing else except what you are talking about. That's why in Islam, when we say, la ilaha illallah, mean you negate, there is none worthy of worship. You negate all kind of worship or anyone deserves to worship. There is no God worthy of worship no one worthy of worship, that's a negating. And you affirm, but Allah, you are affirm except Allah, that Allah is the only one worthy of worship. So the point is, you negate everything, and then you affirm it to one. And here, no one knows about the other, but the Father affirming, neither the Son, nor the Holy, nor, nor the angels, the only, affirming again, the only one knows about the other is the Father. Now here, you see, so Jesus is negating the knowledge of the hour. Either, if he was saying the truth, that means he's not God. If he was saying the truth, that means he's not God because he doesn't know about that. If he was saying something false to make the people understand as his, his situation, that means he lied. And that again indicates that he's, he's not God. You see, according to this, to his own statement, and to use this ambiguous to say, the angels worshipped him, again, I could understand different. We said, you are my Lord, my God. Again, we can understand in different ways because God not necessarily being attributed to the divine according to the Bible, because they said about the, the rabbis to be gods, that the, the worship as well, the rabbis and the people and the people that, who are holy used to be shown respect and shown, you know, uh, and, and that's an act of respect, the worship is an act of respect, not necessarily a worship of the divine. So all of these things. And the last thing, which is, did Jesus have, did Jesus have independent will? Jesus got an independent will? Yeah. Um, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Actually, no, he said no. He said, let it be not my will, but yours. So he doesn't have, he, does, he oh, cannot decide. What I mean is, he, he had the opportunity as a man. Uh, no, he didn't have the opportunity. He, he, According to Mary, he didn't have the opportunity. He said, let it be not my will, but yours. That's right. His, his will is in harmony with the Father's will. No, it's not in harmony. I because believe. he, he's not in harmony. Again, do you know why, why it's not in harmony? Why? What he was saying when the night before he was crucified. Well, he's saying, if not, if not, not my huh? will, but thy, thy will be done. Okay. So he submitted to the Father's will. But before will. that, if it's my will, what? Take this cup away from me. Right, right yeah. So, he, so his will, he, it's yeah. his will. So yeah. he has an independent... You, you cannot be more royal than the king, yeah? Right. Uh, you know, as they used to be in the queen, the partner right. would say, yeah? So he is st stating, in a clear statement, yeah. that if it's, if it's for me, if it's for me, if it's my will, take this cup away from me. Yeah. That's, his, that's, his, that's his preference. Right, exactly. That's what he wants. So he's got an independent that's will. will, but he submits it to the Father. One second, yeah. That shows he doesn't have independent will. 
that shows well, it means he if has he a has a separate will, doesn't it? He's got a separate will. Yes. When he submits it to the No, father. one second, one second. You understand? Meaning, he doesn't have independent will to decide things. Well, I don't believe he can decide one, things without one, his father. Okay, okay. But he's separate. That, without his yeah. father, without his father. Without That's his my father, point. Yeah. Can the father decide without the will of the son? I don't believe so, no. No, no, he can. And, and, and the point is, the father... The father decided for him, according to the Bible, decided for him to be crucified yeah. against the will of the son, and the will of the father yeah. proceed. Correct? Well, I'll correct? No. no correct. Okay. All right. I'll tell you why, if you let me explain. Yes, explain. Because in his humanity, he didn't want to suffer the death on the cross. In his humanity, he didn't say that. You are imposing his word to his word. He didn't say that. He, he said, uh, "If it, let this cut pass from me." He yeah, that's keep pass from me. Yeah, but that's my point. So that shows: Did the father listen to that will? No. Okay, so that means the father still proceeded with his decision regardless to the will of Jesus, correct? Yeah. So that means but the it, father, but it, but it the mean father. They have a separate will. The son wanted one what's thing. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something else. That shows. That shows they are not, they are totally different. They are not one. No. That, it just shows that they're two different persons, but they're. No. They're both listen. God. Listen. If there is two, if there are two persons, they have two wills. Of course, they're going to contradict each other at a certain point. Right. Yeah? They will be not agreeing with everything. So they will be, because they have two different worlds. That indicate that they are not one. Yeah. And that goes against your own theology, which means that they are not one. When you say they're three in one, they are not three in one. And according to what you said now, basically, you are literally affirming that they are not one. No, because when he prays that prayer, he prays that prayer as a man. And as a man, he he's limited in knowledge. As a man, he was limited in knowledge. So when he says... He didn't say that. He, well, he was a man. He, he was wasn't, a man. but he didn't say, he didn't say I'm limited. He didn't say what no, he said. No, but the Bible demonstrates that. That's why... Where, where, where? Where he says that only no man knows the will, um, the time or the hour, but the Father. Okay, that shows, so that shows he's not God. That shows he, he doesn't know. That shows he's not God. These things, you know, we go back to the point to confirm that he's not God. And if he has independent will from the Father, that shows as well they are not one. And if he submitted to the Father, with his, to the will of the Father, that shows as well he's not God because he doesn't have independent will. You see how it goes? So all of these things, it tells him, it tells us few things. You literally, basically, what you mentioned, it indicates few things. Firstly, that uh, if, if he doesn't have the knowledge, which is the all-knowing, that shows he's not God because the, God has to have has to be all-knowing, and if so, that's why he, that, all these indications, and if this person, yeah, just like this, some people he submitted his knowledge, he, you know, he gave away, he gave away his power, he gave away his knowledge. Can can God give away certain things? He didn't do it as God. He did it as a man. Who did it? Jesus. As a man, with the, by the permission of the father, or without the permission of the father. Permission of the father. So the father yeah. needed to permit it. I believe the father needed to be united with the decision. He wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't united. Yeah, in agreement with the decision. So he wasn't united. So that's again. See, if there are two people, if there are two people the having, father, having, the father did agree. The father agreed to send his son and let him become a man. So the father is the is the is the only. What about what about the statement of Jesus? The only true God is the Father. What are you going to do about it? It's not a contradictory statement. Because, it is. No, because you know what it means the only true God is the Father. What does it mean? <laughs> it means that the Father is the only true God. What does that make the Son? It means that the Son's God as well. Is that the true God? It doesn't matter because you can't understand the. By the way, are you from America? By the way, what's that? Where are, where are you from? England. Oxford. Where about Oxford? Oxford. Oxford. Okay. But um, because <laughs> because uh, uh, what was the question? Yeah, only well, and the only true God is the Father. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what the Bible teaches is, which you might well know, speaking to loads of Christians, is that the, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are three persons, but they are all one God. So no, they are not. Just because we can't understand it doesn't mean it's not true. Now, now going, going back to the point, you see here, if, again, if there are two persons, they contradict each other in opinions that shows they are not one. If they are one, they shouldn't be contradicting each other for the people. And I will tell you how. They don't go against each other's words. And, and I will tell you how. What was the purpose of creating Jesus? The Lord didn't create the Son of God. He, was, he wasn't created. As a man, he was born. Okay. What was the purpose that he was on earth? 
the purpose was to do many things. One, to die for the sins of the world. Okay, so his mission, he has only one sole mission, one single mission. It is to die for the sins of the people, correct? He had many did, purposes within okay. that. Did he know this? To die for the sins yes. of the world. Yeah, did he know I this? I believe he did, yeah. So he came for that mission, correct? Yeah. Why he, is, why he is requesting to take the cup away from him? Well, he is sent for that mission. He was sent. So, can you imagine? Someone who is purposely born, as you said, purposely sent to do one single, one single task, which is to die for the sin of Al Capone and Hitler and all of these criminals. That he came, he came for this. He came for this to die for the sins of Hitler and Al Capone. And Hitler was as well reading pretty much the Bible that you're reading now, which is the, the Protestant Bible, pretty much similar to that. So, and, and Al Capone kind of similar in a similar way. So, so, so Jesus was sent for that purpose. Nothing else. He was sent to be killed for this. So that's his purpose. So he should be going for that purpose. Why he is arguing about it? Well, I don't think he's arguing. He's asking if there's another way. That's what he's asking. So he doesn't know if there is another way. No, because as a man, he's limited in knowledge. You see, as yeah. A man. So he doesn't know what's the other way. So why he's asking about? Listen, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, did you study any? Any? Uh, did you study at the university, for example? Have you done? Uh, I have done? done that. Yeah. Okay. Suppose what was what was the? It was a America uh, seminary. Well, I don't, you don't I mean, I mean, I mean you, I'm just talking about just oh. what's your bachelor degree or something or no, background. No, I don't have a degree. No, you don't have a degree. No. For example, I, I had a degree. I was studying as well, for example, um, uh, uh, bachelor degree and master's and PhD in computational mathematics, for example. And now I'm doing in Islamic finance. My point is, uh, as PhD, my point is that when, when, I, when my supervisor is saying to me, this is your task, you need to do this, yeah? That's my task. I will not go to my supervisor and argue with him to say, hey, this is the main task. I need to do this. He was sent on earth. Jesus was sent on earth for that task. Not, not many tasks. He was one of his tasks is to do this, is to be the lamb, which has to be, has to, to be sacrificed for the, for the war crimes of, of Hitler and Al Capone and all of this. He was sent for this. Yeah. That's his purpose. So when he came here and he's still arguing and say, oh, take this cup away from me. For what? So he doesn't know the purpose that he was sent even. Yeah. Well, and you know better than him. I don't think he was arguing. I think he was asking the father if it was possible not to go that way. And then after that, indicating about the last thing, he doesn't have, as a mission, we, which we demonstrate now, he's not all powerful according to this. He's not all knowing, all knowing according to this. And he doesn't have independent will. And yet, you remember the example of the God, it's God, even if it's, you know, some God flies. God is exactly like this. He is saying to you, I'm not God. He's saying in, in, in indirectly, saying these things that, or indirectly, not listen in a dark way. He is. He doesn't have the power to do certain things. He doesn't have the knowledge as well to know certain things. He doesn't have independent will as well to have his own will to be to be in charge of of his destiny himself, let alone of, of the destinies of the others. And yet, you claim that this person to be God. Yeah. Why, Don't you see this contradiction? Why, why couldn't he be God and, and and have a will that's in harmony with his father? So he has independent will. He has a separate will, but not independent. It's separate. In other words, he's got his own will, but he will never, so make, again, a that, never make a decision. You just make it worse now. You just, no, just make it worse. No, I'm that saying he has separate. Never, he'll never make a decision contrary that means they are not to his one. father's will. That means they are not one. Why? When he, when he was discussing and asking not, to, have, not, to, not, not to, to take this cup away from him, when he was asking for this, that means his will contradicts the will of the father. Absolutely. That means they are not one. No, it doesn't. It means there's a separate will. He's asking if there's, and by the way, he's asking this as a man, not as God. As a man, he's limited in knowledge. This is what you say. This is what the Bible says. No, the Bible yeah. didn't say this. Where, where does the Bible say this? Yeah, sorry, the Bible sorry. talks about how the, the son doesn't know the hour. Yeah. So the son in his humanity is limited. In his divinity, have... he's not limited. What? So what was the powers of the son on the earth? Well, on the earth, the Lord gave him power to heal. Gave him power? Pardon me? He gave him power. Yeah, or he may have even got this power from his divinity. I think what happened with the Lord when he was on earth is that the power that he received you think? To, do, to do miracles, based on my understanding of the scripture. So he received? No, was it, was it, was it, was it, yeah, it's because when he got baptized, he received the Holy Spirit. Explain to me the nature of Jesus. I believe he's man and God, God and man. Based upon what? Pardon me? Based upon what? Scripture. What scripture? Well, the Bible talks about how uh, all the angels of heaven are to worship the Son. Hebrews says that. Uh, Who wrote Hebrews? Paul, I believe. 
Well, Scholar Statements Anonymous. What's that? Scholar States Anonymous. Well, are you here to argue about who wrote Hebrews? Or well, are you going to argue well, with everything I'm saying? Or are you going to understand what I'm saying and then... There's, there's two things here. You've got an internal critique to see whether or not you're justified in your belief based upon your text. And then you've got an external critique to actually say, is your text reliable in the first place? All right. So well, I yeah, believe you're, it you're, is. You're, 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 I believe it is. That's cross the cross point. Yeah. So I haven't got to argue with it about no, 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 whether no, it's no, true no, or not. No, no. I believe it is. Why? Because I believe it is based on my experience of the scripture, what I've had since I've believed in Jesus Christ. Okay. I believe that. So it's an awful so, so it's subjective. Well, every yeah. believer's got a subjective experience. No, 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 <laughs> if you don't have a subjective so experience, saying, why are you believing so what you are believe? You, are you saying your belief is true if you have a, a positive experience within it? My belief is true. No, are you saying is that what, is, what that, is saying? that principle? If you have a positive experience in what you believe, then that makes it true. Not necessarily, but my, no. but my experience, I believe... So is, the answer is no. But it doesn't mean I'm wrong. No, no, but are you saying no? I'm saying it doesn't always have to be. So, so positive experience doesn't make your belief true, yes? Yeah. Right, so why do you believe your positive experience makes your belief true? I believe it's true because of my experience, which I can't express. I, all I can do is tell you what I've experienced. Like I what, what, what was no, but you just, but you just said, But like you just said, that doesn't determine truth. So why are you saying it determines truth? It doesn't determine truth, but it doesn't determine it's not right either. Well, you just used it to determine truth. I can't. But well, you just said you don't. You said it can't, though. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. No, it doesn't. Uh -huh. You can't. It doesn't by, the way, by the way, by the way, one second. By the way, what's your name, by the way? George. George. Listen, George. We, uh, earlier, we demonstrate the term worship, even, let's suppose, as a hypothesis that this exists here in the Bible, suppose this, and which is written by Paul, all angels worshipped him. And again, the term worship, even in the Bible, it doesn't indicate about that he's divine, because the term worship as well means showing respect, showing honor. Yes. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean this. And as well, when someone who said, oh my Lord, my God, again, Jesus said to people who are a sinner, Rabbi saying to them, you are gods. So he, again, that goes back to the point to say, not necessarily the term worship, it means that, the, or, or, or the term that the angel worshipped yeah. him, it doesn't indicate that they are, yeah. you know, the, that, that he's God. Right. And as well, the term God, not necessarily, it, it indicates that he is a divine. Yeah. All of these things, and I'm, we are saying to you, George, and we are advising you, and we are saying to you, out of humbleness, by the way, and, and Siri, we, out of sincere, you know, uh, uh, advice to you, saying to you, Islam, remove all of these con misconceptions and all of these contradictions. Islam, we believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet and messenger of God. Right. We believe in his miraculous birth. You don't find any faith on earth, any faith on earth. Recognize Jesus and his miraculous birth other than Islam, other than Christian, is only Islam. We recognize Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet and messenger of God. And we recognize, his, uh, and as well, we admit and we believe that he was born with no father and we believe in his miraculous birth. And we believe as well he performed miracles by the will of God, which was given to him by God. He didn't even take it, as you mentioned, which you brought something new as well to Christianity. You introduced something new to Christianity, by the way, just now. Which you said, which you said, in his divinely thing, in his divinely nature, he got this the, the way to the, the ability to heal and to bring people to life. And which was yeah. actually it was indicated, it was given by the Father. He received it by the Father. Yeah. He, he had well, to receive it. As a man, he, he had to receive it. Yeah. As yeah, a man. You, yeah, yeah, which is fine. So you say Jesus was just a man? No, I'm saying he's both man, fully, and God. Fully God, in the same Can time. Can I just claim that on you, if you don't mind me asking? I don't want to take yeah. over your thing. No, no, it's all right. I just want to establish that. Because you keep referring to scripture. Now, I have a claim that Christians don't know how to read scripture properly. Right. Honestly, I'll, 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 let me test the claim out on you. I might be wrong. Right. See, I believe as Christians, you don't understand a sentence or, or a, 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 a verse when it's no ambiguous. Right. You, you, you treat ambiguous verses explicitly, and then you ignore explicit verses about right. the same thing. Now, this is my claim. Yeah. Right. So, when Jesus says, I and the Father are one, what could he have been saying? He could have been saying that he and the Father are both God in the same being. So he could, uh, have he could also have been saying that they're united in purpose. Functional? Yeah. So. Which one was it? In that case there, it, it wouldn't make a difference which way he meant it, because I believe both would be true. Well, no, it does make a difference. I don't believe it would. Because ontologically means that they're one essence, okay, and functional means they're one in purpose. And I believe they were both. Right. He was both. Right. Right. But it can't be. I'll tell you why. Let me explain how, how when you read uh, a syntactical uh, ambiguity. So when you come yeah. across an ambiguity in a sentence, in, in, a, in a word, in a, a chapter. Uh, uh, they, they keep moving to that side. Yeah, come, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. come to the side, George. Okay. Come, come closer. What you need to do, you need to look Don't worry, we don't bite. You need to look for something <laughs> explicit right. that you can use to interpret an ambiguous statement. So is there an ambiguous, is there an explicit statement 
where Jesus identifies who is the true God? Well, the thing is, I mean, off the top of my head, I mean, there may be a lot more, but it's all about what I can think of right now. But, I mean, he's, he calls himself the Alpha and the Omega. No, no, no. So, there's there's a reference where he first, calls himself. First dream of John Owen. Anyway, the point I'm saying still is still true. That, oh, oh, okay. To me. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Revelation is true to many Christians. Yeah, but the problem you've got is that Melchizedek is also no beginning, no end. So is that God as well, man? Who was Melchizedek? No, Melchizedek was, I don't believe he, he didn't have a beginning. Well, that's what he said. Beginning no, or end, no end. No, no. Well, it doesn't record his birth. And I think that's what I was talking about. It says he has no beginning or end. It says that um, anyway. Jesus made like Melchizedek. Anyway. Melchizedek's birth well, who is, is Who do you believe is the only true God? I believe Jesus. No, who do you believe is the only true God? Jesus, okay. the Father and the Holy Spirit. And who does Jesus say is the only true God? Well, he, he talks about the Father being the only true God. So, how many only true gods can there be? One. So, who is the only true God according to Jesus? Well, the Father is one person of the only true God. No, that's not what Jesus says. This well, what that's Jesus what he means. Jesus, no he doesn't. I believe he does. So, now you're making up meanings of what Jesus says? Yeah. Oh, my aunt. Jesus says the Father is the only true God, yes? Right. How many only true gods can there be? There can only be one true God. So, who's the only true God according to Jesus? No, because... That one statement there, he's talking about the Father being the only true God. So what but could, the what Bible could... teaches overall, based on study that I've done, which I may not be able to remember every verse now, but based on the study that I've done, and I've heard other people speak as well, is that the Son is taught in the Scripture to be equally God along with the Holy Spirit. Where, where's the Son taught? Where's the teach that? In your scripture? Well, uh, some of these verses that I've already said. You haven't seen any verses that said that you Well, call... I believe I have. Alpha and Omega, he calls himself that. Tells the angels, angels worship him. Yes, somebody might say that worship can just be a reverence, or it could also mean worship. Oh, okay, I'll say it again to you. Is the only, the Father, when Jesus says the Father is the only true God, is that ambiguous or explicit? I'd say that's uh, very explicit. Explicit? No, no, no ambiguity here. So now we have an explicit statement. Okay. Yeah. When Jesus says to Mary, tell my brothers, I, I go now to my father and your father, my, my God, God and your God. Is that ambiguous or explicit? Explicit. What, what's it explicitly saying? Saying that the father is God. His God? Yeah. Okay. So when Jesus says to um, I and the father are one, is it ontologically or functional based on these explicit statements? I believe it can be both. How can it be both? Because that would go against the explicit statements. No, because when he says the Father is God, that is true. If you're saying Jesus is God, yeah. then the Father's not the only true God. Why not? Because there only be one only true God. No, it wouldn't. Just saying that there's three persons, there's one how God, the only, Father's one of them. How many only true gods can there be? One. And who's that? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's They're not what Jesus God. says. That's what Jesus says. It doesn't matter. By the, by the way, by the way, by the way. <laughs> Do you know, do you know, I will tell you something, I, I have this, and I, I, maybe I think you did. Do you know what was the earliest, the earliest manuscript that they found about the Bible? What's the earliest one? When was the, when, when, when well, it was? manuscripts have been around since the first letter of the New Testament was written. No. No. no it says you. I don't believe that. <laughs> You're not going to believe it because you don't believe it. Okay, they found one. He's not asking you like, your opinion. Yeah. All right. He's asking you for a historical fact. Yeah, right. So what is the oldest manuscript of your Bible do you have? The oldest manuscript? Yes. Well, any manuscript that we've got is from hundreds of years ago based on today's date. What I'm saying is I believe by faith that since the New Testament first letter was written, that that letter has been copied down, what, down, what down, down. What was the first down. New Testament letter written? Well, um, I don't know, roughly around... No, what was it? 60 AD. What was the first letter written? Um, off the top of my head, probably would have been one of Paul's epistles. Yeah, Galatians. Right. When, when, when it was that? I wouldn't know off the top of my head. No. Do you know the earliest one they found, the, part of the Gospels? The first Gospel, let's say. The Gospels, I, yeah. I, I, um, yeah, the, the first one. The, the earliest date of the Gospels available today. Yeah, what's, what's, the, what's the earliest manuscript that they found? That, that's the still in existence today? Yeah, they complete. Found yeah, no, I don't that's know. Me. I mean, off the top of my head, it could be... Um, um, I think it's date back to the 5th century. 4th century. 4th century. Suppose, okay, what is the first page? A page of the Gospels, which they found in the book of John, yeah? They found the earliest one is around... They found well, the it, one that they've got today? Yeah, which is around 200... 200 AD. AD, yeah? Right. Now, my question is to you, what was written in which language? Well, the, the manuscript that they've got available today... The earliest one? The earliest one they've got, it's not the original, okay. for sure. So well, the one they found, the earliest yeah. one they found, was written in which language? I wouldn't know. No, I don't you know. know off the top of my head, I don't know. Okay, Greek. Right. Did Jesus speak Greek? 
I don't believe so, no. I believe it's spoke Ara um, Aramaic. Arabic, yeah. Aramaic. Aramaic, rather. Or, or Hebrew, yeah? Right. Okay. Where yeah, the, where may, the Greek, may have been able to where the Greek came from? from? Well, they decided to write the New Testament in Greek. Yeah. Do, you see the, do you see the problem? Do you, don't you see any problem? No. That's, you not, don't? that's not a big problem. Is that a big problem? No, it's not a big problem. But serious? Yeah. Because Alexander the Great conquered Jerusalem. Yeah. The Greek was... <laughs> the Don't worry okay. about the Greek. But, but that He's before, got bigger problems. That before, no, that before. Look, at the end before. of the day... The you, the you day, cannot, no, no matter, you, you know, have heard your arguments. No, no, no. And no, I still don't no, believe no, it. No, 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 no. The thing is, is you've, you've demonstrated that what you believe is not... No, there do you believe in Allah? Uh, okay, so the problem is when you believe something without reason, you can't be reasoned out of it if you're not being reasoned into it. Okay. This do you believe in Allah? 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 Yes or so, no? So here's the thing, you, you, talk, about you talk about Jesus walking the earth uh, as God, yes? Uh, as a man. As a man, yeah. with God's nature. Uh, well, he had a fully human nature and he was God at the same time. At the same time? Yeah. Even when he was crucified? One second, one second. Yeah, well, one he's second, crucified, one second, one second. he's crucified as a man, but he remained God because there's one so, person so with two So, are natures. we talking a Clark Kent situation? No. We're not. Do you know what I mean by Clark Kent situation? Well, I know that he was nothing like Clark Kent, he was nothing like Do Superman. you know what I mean by Clark Kent? I know who Clark Kent is. No, do you know what I mean by the situation, though? No. I'll explain. I'm you presuming see... you mean, was he like Clark Kent? No. No, no. You see Superman, yeah? And when, when Clark Kent dresses in his suit and his tie and he's doing his photography and all that business, yeah, he can still shoot lasers from his eyes, can't he? Right. Yeah, he doesn't need to have the tights on to, to do the to the power. He's still Superman looking like Clark Kent. Right. Okay, so this is called the Clark Kent effect. So when Jesus was walking the earth, was he doing a Clark Kent effect? So was he a man looking like a man like Clark Kent, yeah, but he but had the he, power of God? Of God. No, I don't believe so. No, he's you fully, don't believe he was? No, he's fully man. He was fully man, as at the same time he was fully God. He didn't just appear to be a man. So you do believe he was God? I believe he was fully man and fully God. So when he was walking around looking like a man, inside he was also God? Uh, the Bible says that in him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So I believe that in some sense God was in him and at the same time the Bible teaches that he was fully well, man. You, well, no, it's not about God was in him, you're saying he is God. I believe he is God, yeah. So when he's walking the earth as a man, is he also God? At the same time, yeah. So he is God? Yeah, and man. All right, and is he all-knowing? As God, he's all-knowing. As man, he's limited in knowledge. Right, and does the God, the God within the man, can, can it can take over? Or the man take over? Uh, or, or who's in control, uh, the man or the God? The two natures are separate. Right. The two natures are separate in yeah. Jesus? Yeah. All right. So does the God uh, help out the man? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. He does so? Yeah, I think, I think what happened with Jesus is that um, he got baptised, he received the Holy Spirit, and as a man he relied on the power of the Holy Spirit. So he uh, received the Holy Spirit? Well, he relied on the Holy Spirit. Pardon me? I thought he was the God. No, as a man, he, re he received the Holy Spirit as a man, and he relied on the Holy Spirit as a man. Do you believe the Holy Spirit is the Son? No. Do you believe Jesus is the Son? Yeah. So we've got man, God, the Son, we've got man, Son, and now the Holy Spirit. Three of them. Yeah, you've got God, God Father, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So Jesus... So Jesus is God and man. He's the second... No, you, you just said Jesus years. is God, yeah. the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. No, he's not God the Holy Spirit. He just said he was. And if I did, then I've misspoken. No, I don't right. believe I don't believe Jesus is the Holy Spirit. Right. So you believe Jesus is God the Son, God the Man. Oh, no. Right. So you believe Jesus is God the Son and, and, God the and a human being. Y yeah, I believe Jesus is, is God the Son. Um, and when he was on earth, he was a man, and he was right. limited. And did he have the power of God when he was on the earth? Well, I think as a man, he didn't. No, as a man. But you said he was God. Yeah, but he didn't use his power. He as didn't God. use his power. Not so, as a man, he didn't. No. So he chose not to use it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So all the miracles he did. How did he do that? Yeah, I think he did that through the power of the Holy Spirit. Power of the Holy Spirit. So yeah. he had no power himself. Not as a man. He didn't use it. Not that he couldn't have. Like he, he could have called for twelve legions of angels okay. when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, but he refused to do it. Right. So when he went to the fig tree, why did he not call on the Holy Spirit to help him out? When he went to the fig tree. Mm. Why? What happened there? No, Why Jesus... would he need assistance from the Holy Spirit when he walked by the fig tree? Because he was hungry and there was no figs on the tree. Right. So and he didn't know there was no figs on the tree. Because he refused to use the power that he had available to him. He could have done the same Absolutely. thing. Did he when... know? What didn't he know? There's no figs. What do you mean? He didn't know there was no figs on the tree. Well, he looked at the tree and he saw no figs, didn't he? No, he saw the tree in the distance. Right. Saw it in leaf and thought maybe there could be some fruit on it because he was hungry. Yeah. When he got there, there he was found... no fruit on it because right. it wasn't the season for figs. Yeah. So then he cursed the tree. Right. Yeah, and said, "Be nobody eat for you no more." Right. So he did two things here. First thing he did showed ignorance, 
Yeah, yeah he didn't know it wasn't the season for fix. Which is biblical, yeah. Yeah. He, did, and he doesn't know all things as a man. He was if he doesn't know all things, he's not God. It's not true. Does God know all things? Yeah. <laughs> if he didn't know all things, he's not God, then is he? Right, because Jesus Christ got two natures when he was on earth. One person. As you see human the human nature, George, 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 he didn't know George, 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 George. Yes, you see, George, my, the, the problem is you just make it just make it more complicated. I don't believe they should, so. I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you. It's difficult listen, listen, George, 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 yeah, that's what he said. That uh, means that means the power of the man's side is over, stronger, over, than stronger than the power of God. I said that at all. You just said I said that. Jesus Christ is fully man and he refused to use his divine power. He refused but who's, to who refused? Who refused? Really the man's who refused? The man's side or the divine side? Yeah, the who refused? The divine side. Who refused to choose? Yeah, Jesus, Jesus had second? to be fully man. So he couldn't be a mixture of God and man. He okay. was fully man. Who chose not to use the divine side? Who chose? The man's side or the divine side? Well, they're one person. Right. Listen, you just made it complicated to yourself, by the no, way. No, there are two natures, but there's one person. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's two natures. Yeah, which whatever, nature? this, whatever the human, which, human, which nature? Whatever the human nature does, what, one uh, second, one the second. person of Jesus Christ one does. One second. It's you said there's two natures, one person. One second. That's the biblical teaching. George, and we're going to go around in circles George, 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 all day long George, because George, it can't be understood. George, I'm not denying George, George, that. I'm not George. denying listen, it. Listen, but listen, I still believe listen, it by faith. Listen, 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 I would say so. That's what I George, believe by faith. George, 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 Just like you believe Allah didn't have a beginning. Listen, listen, you can't understand that. Listen, George, you believe it by faith. George, George, George. There's no difference. So we believe it through necessity. Yeah, exactly. And I believe through necessity that God is three in one. There's no necessity of what you're saying. I believe so. You know what? I will tell you something. Why did it take the... One second. Why did it take the Council of Chalcedon in the fifth century to determine that Jesus had two natures? Yeah. Why did it take? And they voted. Whatever, they voted for it. Whatever happened at Chalcedon? Why did it take four hundred years? It didn't take four hundred years. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. No, because there, there, used, to be, there used to be monotheists. Before Chalcedon. There used to be monotheists yeah. amongst Christians. Because the New Testament was written four five hundred years before that. Listen. Oh my giddy aunt. The Council of Chalcedon was convened to determine the nature of Jesus. Because yeah. they didn't have an orthodox position. Yeah, right. They right. didn't have an orthodox so position, but it doesn't mean every Christian so didn't have an orthodox no, position. No, the position of the church, it took 400 years to formulate a formula, fully man, fully God. No, that's not true. I don't believe Yeah, that. well, it did. No, it didn't. Listen, didn't George, 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 George. What I'm saying, George, before my friend, Chalcedon. my friend, George. Oh. We don't listen, exactly. George, George, George. I don't need to. Oh. I don't need to look to Chalcedon. George, George. Who didn't? No, who did? Who didn't? Who did? You can't tell me. You're who did. I can't tell you. No, we are from silence. You're saying someone did, but you don't know who they were. You're telling me that, that no one knew this well, until Chalcedon. Well, why did Chalcedon have to be convened? Because some people didn't understand the truth. Who were some people? The people that convened in Chalcedon, but that's the monotheists. The monotheists. The monotheists. Right. The one who were monotheists. Right. And the one who didn't accept didn't accept the divinity you of Chelsea, Jesus. You accept yeah? Chalcedon? Yeah, I believe that uh, that council was. Because William Lane Craig rejects Chalcedon. You know that, right? I don't care about yeah. William yeah, Lane yeah. Craig. So here's your problem. Right? So I'm going to diagnose it? his problem. No. No. I already know problem. what you're going to say about my problem. <laughs> I'll diagnose your problem. I'll diagnose your problem. No, 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 we don't think. We believe. We believe you're wrong, but we don't think. Here's the thing. It's beyond that even thinking. Belief, right, is based upon reason. Your reasons are flawed. So are yours. You tell me how no, no, Allah no, no, didn't no. have a beginning. Explain it to me. Oh, oh, okay. Because Allah is the creator of everything, yes? Right. All right. He's the creator and, of everything. And the time right. has now a beginning. You, you answer me this. But, how bum. can you understand how something that exists didn't have a cause? How can you explain that? Oh, okay. Because Allah by necessity yeah. can't have a cause. So why can't God be a trinity by necessity? Okay. That's not the one, that's the one arguing here. Yeah, but you're saying that I'm foolish because I can't make no, any no, sense. No, 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 that if I believe yeah. in a trinity, because I can't reason this, it doesn't make sense no, up no, here, no, you, you can't, can't reason no, 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 no. it, it can't be true. I'll say it again to you. Allah didn't have a beginning. I'll say it again to you. I'll if Allah doesn't you. have a beginning, can you make sense of that? Here's How can something you exist but didn't exist? By, by, by the way, because the time, because the time is the creation, is a creation, is a something as a beginning. Yeah, I know. So that's why. So the time is, we're talking about, no, no, when we're talking about Allah is beyond the time and the creation itself. My point is, you believe by necessity that Allah, Yeah, yeah. right, has always existed and didn't have a beginning. You believe it by necessity. Meaning, it's not Why can't God be not a trinity with by time, necessity? Not restricted, not restricted with time and, second, and place. That's our point. We say not restricted with time and place. My, my point is, and of course, and, and, uh, and one of the things in terms of restriction, uh, again, just to, to clarify things, when, when we say, that when God created the time, yeah, that it, it has, a, so that's the time has a beginning. So God is beyond that time. 
You understand? Right, yeah. So that's that we're not talking about Allah, yeah? yeah? And as well, he is above his throne the way that Prophet says. No, that, but, that's, that, but this is a separate thing. We're talking about now here, you bring it, you're imposing. Well, because Listen, I'm okay. being Just told that because I believe something I can't reason, One second. then it can't be no, true. No, 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 I'm saying that you can't reason that Allah didn't no, no, have a beginning, no, 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 no. but that doesn't mean no, it's no, not true. No, 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 no. The issue that, brother, brother. No, I'm not. Let me explain something. Explain to me why God has to be a trinity by necessity. Because I believe that the Bible is the truth. No, no, no. And so that's Through necessity. Why, well, because I believe... Do you know what necessity means? Yes, I know what necessity means. What does means. it mean? It means it necessarily has to be. Right. So why does God necessarily have to be a trinity? Because if he exists as a trinity according to the scripture, and if the scripture is true, then he must by necessity exist as a trinity. Right, right. So just because the scripture says it. Yeah. yeah. Now, we don't believe Allah exists by necessity because of what the Quran says. All right. All right. I didn't become a Muslim, a believer in God, through any religion. I believe that in the necessity of a creator, whatever that creator yeah. was, yes. it had to exist. That creator had to be uncaused right, and that. had to be the creator of everything. Had to be that necessity. There's yeah. no, nothing else it could be. It didn't have to be a trinity. It didn't have to be monkey, elephant, gods and whatever. What it had to be was something right. that's always existed, something powerful, something intelligent. Yeah? All knowing. All yeah. knowing. And had has to be. independent right. will. Basically. And then from that point onwards, and then from that point onwards, I try to connect to that creator. And I do that for revelation. Right. right now, I wanted to diagnose your problem because I've, I've sussed it. You're a nice guy, and but everything you've said, you see, is is kind of the fruits on the tree, and you're not dealing with the roots of the tree. Right now, the reality is this: your position as a Christian is based upon premises that I think you believe are true, which, and maybe you don't think they're true actually. I don't think you're a little bit smarter than that actually. Let's see, who do you believe? Do you believe the authors of the Gospels were disciples of Jesus? Well, yeah, I believe um, John. It seems to be. I mean, John, yeah, John, who else? We haven't got a, a, a scripture saying that John wrote John's who, who, gospel. Who else? Who it's else? a tradition, and I've got no problem with the tradition. Who, who else? Uh, who Matthew's else? Is, uh, Matthew was attributed to Matthew, yeah. And then you got Luke, who's a disciple, but he wasn't one of the twelve apostles. So he wasn't. Right. And then Mark, he became a disciple believer, but he wasn't one of the twelve apostles. So, right. So, which of the gospel writers were eyewitnesses to what they wrote? Uh, Luke. Uh, sorry, not Luke. Um, Matthew and then John. Right. Why do you believe Matthew was an eyewitness? Well, I believe it because um, the scripture seems to teach that it was written by an eyewitness and it seems to teach that it was written by Matthew. Where does the scripture teach it was written by someone called Matthew? Well, it talks about in the other gospels how um, <coughs> Levi made a feast in his house. And when Matthew uh, records it, he records it uh, in a different way as if the uh, writer of the scripture, of Matthew, is holding that feast within his own house. So, so saying, that's why people have been led to believe, among other things, and a tradition so that saying, Matthew it, wrote the gospel. So but does it really matter if Matthew wrote the gospel? Yes. I don't believe it does, because uh, I believe that the scriptures uh, inspired by God. Okay. So it doesn't that's matter the who the point. human That's my second point. That's my second point now. Yeah. So your first point is, your premise is, you believe the authors of the gospels were eyewitnesses, which is false Jesus premise, Christ first thing. Lord. Second thing. Jesus yeah, Christ yeah, yeah. is Lord. Second, second thing. Only Jesus Christ can forgive sins. Yeah, yeah, and John the Baptist. Anyway, <laughs> that's the this is the blind this is bl the blind faith. Yeah, right, right, right. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing, you believe that the authors of the Gospels were inspired by the Holy Spirit. He, uh, when it came to writing the Scripture, I believe the words they wrote down were God's words. Why do you believe that? Because I believe the Scriptures are the Word of God, based on my experience and what it's caused no, for no, no. me. Why, why, why do you believe the authors of the Gospels were inspired by the Holy Spirit? Like I just said, I told you why. Did because they claim to be? Well, the Bible says all scripture is inspired by God. So whatever is scripture is inspired by God, if that's true. What is? What do you mean by scripture? Anything that's been inspired by God, written down. But all scripture is inspired by God. Yeah, all. So scripture. what scripture? What is scripture? Well, scripture is scripture is only uh, that which God wrote through human instrumentality. So what what what, what defines scripture? I just told you. No, no. Okay, when this verse in Timothy came, the gospels weren't written. Right? There was no Gospels. Um, yeah, right. When was that? Uh, this was because Paul apparently wrote Timothy. Yes. Paul was dead before the Gospels were written. So, okay. So, so, so that means so that around 100 is not referring years. to the Gospels. No, no, no. Possible. Possible. No, it's, 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 it's possible that, that the Gospels were written before Paul died. No, it's impossible. I don't believe so. Why, why? Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Paul died about 60 AD. When was Mark written? Uh, something like that there. Uh, Mark may have been written earlier than that, as well as Matthew. All right. You Do don't know for sure when it was written. Okay, all I can go off is New Testament scholarship, isn't it? Exactly, all and right, they right. don't know. Are they there? Uh, Are they there? It's 2,000 years so, ago. So, so, you're, a clue. so you don't have a clue either? No, who exactly. Would know, who would so know I'm not going to argue that I do have a well, clue. Well, who would know more, them or you? 
Why wouldn't I know more? Because they've done historical research. So what? Have you? Uh, uh. Yeah, I've listened to what they've had to say. Ultimately, they can only tell one me second, one second. as they look back into the why past 2,000 years Why did they say Paul died before the Gospels were written? Because they don't believe that the Gospels were written before Paul. Why? But look, this conversation is different. This is different. We're going all yeah, by, by the way, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, uh, listen, listen to me. Yeah. Even though for me, uh, as, as, as for example, English is my second language. Yeah. And when I, for example, if I open one of the Gospels, and I will say, this Gospel is written according to John. Now, does that mean John wrote it? No, it doesn't. No. So, so someone it wrote. It doesn't so matter. It doesn't matter. No, no, listen, listen. So as long as it's true, it's true. You don't know it's inspired. Do you remember? Do it based on. How do you know? Any Christian how do you know? Christian well, what's it? What's it? What's it? How does any listen, Christian listen, determine? Can I? Can I say something? Can I? George, George, hands, hands, hands. Believers have differed over what scripture is. George, 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 George. They haven't. George, George, George. Please, please, look at me, George, George. Talk. Listen, listen. I'll explain what you're saying. I, here, I just wanted to calm down the conversation. Yeah? Just when I'm when I'm using when I'm when I'm just reading reading in a so, in a simplest English language to say, this gospel is written according to John or according to Mark, etc. Right. That means we have ambiguous people. They didn't write it. They didn't write it according to the Holy Spirit. They wrote it according. To, to John, yeah? Says you, says that's what no, you no, believe. No, no, no. Well, I don't believe it. Open the gospel. It says this gospel is written. No, it, listen, they will say, listen, can, can we open a Bible and, and show you this? They will say this this gospel is, wrote, is written accord, this, according to John. Yeah. So it's according to him. Meaning we have ambiguous. Yeah, that statement was not an inspired statement. That's somebody's put that in there. No, the, the same one who wrote these Gospels, those are the ones yeah. who, are, who wrote yeah, these Gospels. Yeah, that could be anybody. The King yeah, James Bible yeah, 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 publishers yeah, 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 yeah. could have put that in. This so who, anybody. Do you, who do you believe wrote the Gospels? So who wrote the Gospels then? Who wrote the Gospels? Who John? those people who wrote I've the Gospels? I've got no problem believing that John wrote the Gospels. Well, you just said John didn't. No, no. Well, you just yeah, said listen, it, listen, listen. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter no, no. who wrote it. It's not no, as by the way, true. George, George, George. You don't know it's true. George. How do you know it's true? George, George. The same way every Christian believes it's true because of the internal witness of the Holy Spirit. That's how they've come to believe it. We've already established that personal experience cannot determine truth. Why do you believe the Quran's true? Because I believe the Prophet Muhammad made a claim 1400 years ago that, that a messenger spoke, to, an angel spoke to him. There's only four hypotheses for, to explain that phenomenon. He's either lying about it, he's either delusional, crazy about it, he's either been deceived by the devil about it, or he's telling the truth. Right. Me, through a process of elimination, I reason he's not crazy, I reason he's not uh, deceived by the devil, yeah. and I reason he's not a liar. Right. Therefore, he must and be telling the truth. Millions of Christians have done the same thing with Jesus Christ. You haven't. And they've come to the conclusion that the Holy Bible is the truth. No, you haven't. Of course we have. No, you haven't. Well, the Bible well, has I don't believe for that reason. So okay, which Bible me, do you read? You're telling me why I read the Bible. King James. King James. You read a Bible with forged verses, why? Pardon me? You read a Bible now, containing forged verses, why? Right, listen to me a minute. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying, right? All right, go on. Right. We're going, we're going from this. You're going from this. Then you're going no, from no, this. No. I'll tell you what, right? George. It sounds to me George. like you're just trying George. to tell me everything you know. I'm not interested. George. George. The conversation is to try and understand the truth George. about things. George. I'm listening to him. You just listen said. to me. I'm listening George. to you. you just... But then you're going from one thing no, no, to the no, next. No. What's the point of it? You just How said. The purpose of this I'll explain to you. All right. You just made the claim that the Bible's the inspired word of God. Right. Therefore, I believe I'm, so. Right. So I'm taking to your Bible now, King James Bible, right. that contains verses which are forged. Right. Right. Now you want me to turn around and argue now? No. But which verses? I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue. We'll discuss. I want to ask you, discuss. can you forge the word of God? Pardon me? Can you forge the word of God? No, you can't forge it. Right, so you read a Bible containing forged verses. So why are you reading a Bible with forged verses? Well, you're saying they're forged. They are forged? Yeah, it says you and others. But that doesn't mean it's true. There's no proof they are forged, sir. Oh. What? There's no proof they are forged. Yeah, exactly. There's no proof? No. Can you prove me? Yes, I can. Tell me. Uh, uh, okay. It, there's no John... Um, John 1, 3, was it? Was it? Uh, John 1, 5, 7. Yeah. Right. First John 5, 7. In any manuscript prior to the 10th century. It doesn't century. mean that they were forged. No. What does it mean then? Because all we got today are the manuscripts that have existed in the past. All right, so the but ones we that... don't live in the past, we live today. But the oldest manuscripts don't contain the verse. Well, it was in the Latin Vulgate. It no, was it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's not in Vatican. It's not in Vatican. It wasn't. It wasn't. No, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. I believe it was. Come on, come on. Okay. George, George. If I'm it's wrong, about... fair enough. But I think, okay. I think, I think, cool. I think cool. it was in the Vulgate. Next one. Next one. No, no, listen. listen. No, one second. Right, let me ask you this question. Just let me ask this question. What is the purpose of this conversation? The purpose is Alpha. Right. Listen, so do you know, do you know how to do it? If I'm having a discussion George, about George, something, George. why do you keep on going from one George, subject to the, I, by the next? Way, yeah. to the next? Alex, Alex, I'm going to be here all day. Why don't you just stick to the one subject? Get to the one subject. I'll explain. I'll explain. I'll explain. I'm going to go. Just for a second. No, no, I'll just explain my point. Okay. Because what I'm seeing, I'm dealing with fruits of the tree, right? And I'm realizing you don't know about the roots. So I'm seeing now. Says you, I believe I do. Because what happens, you see, your conclusion, you're all bouncing on about your conclusions and you don't understand your premises. Now, if your premises are flawed, your conclusion is flawed. Now, you can't say, Oh, the Bible's the word of God. Why do you believe that? Oh, Why well, do you believe the Quran? 
no, no. You can't make you a claim about someone. something. You can't problem. say something, and then when you're asked you. about that thing, yeah. you start, oh, well, um, maybe, um, it doesn't really matter. I, I haven't done that. That's exactly what you've done. I don't think I have. The whole conversation, you said, who cares if it was eyewitnesses? Who cares, as long as it's true? Exactly. I mean, that's right, how though, can it? you determine If you've got one truth. man saying something that's true, okay. and then that man, another man comes through and he says the same okay. thing, does it matter which man says okay. it? All that matters is what's being said. Very last point, very last point, then I will go, I promise All you. Right. I promise you. When Jesus was asked to give him a sign, to prove who he was. What was that sign? What part of the Bible are you talking about? In the Gospels. Right. When Jesus has just fed 5,000 people. the prophet Jonah? Is that what you're talking about? Okay, in the book of Mark, and Jesus is asked. Um, Jesus says this adulterous generation asked for a sign. Right. What's the sign? Well, he, he talks about the sign of Jonah, yeah. No, he doesn't. Right, he says there's no, no sign going to be given except the sign of Jonah. No, he doesn't. No? No. So why New Testament's wrong? It says, Jesus says, this adulterous generation asks for a sign, no sign shall be given, and then he gets in his boat and leaves. Right. At some point. Show me that in the Gospel of Mark. It doesn't have to. Is it? Mark. Show me in Mark. Show me in Mark. Show me in Mark. Why should I show you? I'll show you why you should show me in Mark. I'll explain why. I'll explain. Why should I show you in Mark? Show me I'll explain why. Because Matthew's copied Mark. Yeah, it says you. It says others. No, it says New Testament scholarship. The, just right, because they said, were they there? Second, they don't know. So you believe that Jesus said <laughs> the sign of Jonah, three days, three nights, yeah? Well, I believe somebody said that if it was Jesus. I think if my assessment says it was Jesus who said that. So Matthew says, so mark the story. Jesus is asked for a sign and he says, no sign shall be given to this adulterous generation. Gets in his boat and leaves, yeah? Okay. I don't, I don't know because I don't know for sure, but I do know that one of the Gospels at least no, says, Gospel of Mark. <coughs> says that. Uh, Gospel, of Mark. Gospel of Mark. According to the Gospel of Matthew, right. the Dulcet generation asks for a sign. No sign shall be given except the sign of Jonah. Right. So the Son of Man should. Uh, so Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights, so the Son of Man shall be in the belly of the earth for three days and three nights. Right. Okay. So, so now there was no sign, now there is a sign. Is no, there's no contradictory statement there. Well, the first one, no sign will be given, and he left. Yeah, exactly. So there's no contradictory because he says the same thing over in Matthew, but then he adds to it. So what well, it is well, is you've got, you've well, got well, a partial well, well, statement well, well, well. in mind. One second, one second, whoa. one second. Listen, listen. <laughs> that is the most. Listen, listen. listen, George, George. I, I believe you are kind of you kind of read a person who is well read and have a good understanding to the things. You know, when you're asking me something, and I will say to you, there is no way that you could have it. And then someone else will say, someone else will say, there is no way you could have it except in this way. That means these two people, one of them lied. Yes, it means this additional information. Let me continue, let me continue. This additional, this additional information, it shows that, it shows when he when he went away without saying there is no sign shall be given. That means there is no way. So when another when another gospel say, there is the, when, when that sign comes, that one means of wrong. one of them is wrong. So one of them is no, injected. Right. Now, I, so. now I believe, I personally believe Mark was telling the truth. Right. I'll explain why. Yeah. Because I think both telling the truth. No, it, it oh, can't oh, be. Oh, okay. It can be, it can oh, be. One second. So can Mark be. says no sign shall be given and he leaves. Yeah. Matthew says no sign shall be given and then gives a sign. Right. But so okay, all, he, all he does is add to it. So no, no, no. The full so, statement so, so, in Matthew. So Mark, no, no. But the, the problem you, you have, the problem you have in Mark, Mark says no sign shall be given, and then he leaves. He leaves them without a sign. Okay. But in Matthew, no, he's promising them a sign. Now here's the problem. You're even deeper problem now, though, because if you want to cling to Matthew saying, yeah, Jesus said this, Jesus said this, who was promised a sign? The, the generation that he was talking to. The adulterous generation. Right. Okay. Did Jesus appear to them? Pardon me? Did Jesus appear to them after his resurrection? Yeah, he, he appeared um, to the generation, yeah. No, he didn't. He appeared to his disciples. He didn't yeah, appear to them. His disciples are part of that generation. No, no, no. The adulterous generation? Yeah. So Je Jesus is saying these people talking about the Pharisees. Yeah. Talking about the Pharisees. Not just the Pharisees, sign. all Jewish unbelievers at that time. No, what does it say in your scripture? Yeah. Talks about that. Because it, it, after his resurrection, he no, appeared. No, no. Did he, he appeared to people who were unbelievers during his lifetime. Did he appear to the Pharisees? No, he didn't need to. Well, he said he would. No, he talked about an adulterous generation but that includes everybody. So the, the disciples were an adulterous generation? The ones that didn't believe and then later believed at that time were adulterous because they refused even his brothers to believe during his lifetime. <laughs> Those who didn't believe were just, called adulterous generation. So I understand. So you're saying... I know it. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, by the way, Ali, so you're Ali, saying Ali. when Jesus was asked for a conclude. sign, who was asking him? Wait, Jesus asked the no, no, Pharisees, Pharisees. Pharisees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Pharisees asked for the sign. Yeah. Did they get a sign? 
Okay, yes, they got it. When? Yeah, the sign of Jordan. When did Jesus appear to them? He said the sign of Jonas. When did Jesus appear to them? No, he didn't have to appear. Well, he, he said, said he would. The yeah. Yeah. By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. By the way, listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. It's my camera. Yeah, by the way, what we are saying to you all that time, yes, we, we, may, we may appear to you that we jump from topic to a topic to a topic, yeah? And by the way, just for you, George, just as an advice, as a humble advice, yeah? When, when there is someone, when you are in a, in a, in a point of, of defending your faith, yeah. attacking the other faith, it is literally shows weakness of, in your argument. Uh, I don't for example, I've done that. One, one second. No, you've you done that a few times. When, when you are, when well, you are saying, one second, one second. George, anybody George, who believes George, the Quran George, believes yeah. it by faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my that's question. incorrect. There should be reason. Okay, okay. you see, that's exactly. That's the weakness. Exactly. That's exactly. Why that's can't exactly. I question the Quran? Listen, 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 George. It's exactly the weakness I'm talking about. He just demonstrated it now, just now. No, no. So because when you don't, when you don't have, when you don't have an argument. Yeah, you, you, you. When you don't have an argument. Yeah. When you don't so have an you, argument, you okay. Yeah. 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 I've yeah. answered the questions that have been anyway. asked. No, okay, no, that's good. So, anyway, now, now, now okay. talking Thank to you. For you. All the best. And I wish, first of all, I advise you as well. The other advice, that's the first one. The second advice, no, I advise you as well. Did you read the Quran oh, oh, okay. before? I'm not have you read the Quran? I've read a little bit. Let me explain. Just try to read more about the Quran. And maybe maybe there is something there. Maybe the truth is there. That's all. We ask God to guide you. My 